Hi, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, and founder of the Lux designation for agents that requires zero luxury sales to be certified in luxury. For more information on that, go to Luxury Listing Specialist. Again, we're seeing breakthroughs. If you're listening to our podcast, LuxuryListingPodcast.com. Recently, I interviewed Jennifer. She's a Cobalt Banker agent. She had $50 left to her name. She took our course and she when she took our course, she had, and even when she took this recent $5 million listing, she never had a listing above $450,000, and she landed a $5 million listing based on the tools, the strategies that we gave her in the course. It grew her knowledge, and it grew her confidence. In this video, we're going to be talking about what I call love letters. Love letters. What are love letters? Before we do that, we just launched... Uh, a Friday luxury training called Luxury Fridays. It's every Friday. We started it out on Clubhouse. We moved it over to StreamYard, incorporating video. You can go to joinluxgroup.com, joinluxgroup.com for more information on that. Our network is expanding. We're looking for agents that want to increase their average sale price. And you can reach out to me that way or my, my email, Michael and Marketing Luxury Group, and I'd be happy to set up a call with you. This week's video, we're going to talk about love letters. Maybe you've represented a buyer that wanted to write a letter to the seller as to why that seller should pick them over the competition if they're in a multiple offer situation. Well, in some states, these love letters are becoming illegal. I would really frown upon, especially if you represent a seller, sharing love letters with your sellers. Now, if you represent a buyer, they can incorporate a letter you know, sometimes you hit those emotional buttons. Again, people buy on emotion and they justify in logic. Well, people might sell on emotion versus logic if they really like this story or these buyers or they, you know, whatever it might be. But I recently bought a home last year and I was in a multiple offer situation. And the other buyer I later found out did write one of these love letters. The seller picked our offer. Our offer was cleaner. It was as is. It netted the sellers more money. But the buyer took it personal that they didn't pick them. Uh, there was a protected class. Uh, she was um, a minority, and so she felt like she wasn't, they didn't pick them because of racial discrimination. So they filed a housing complaint, fair housing complaint. So you, when you represent sellers, I would recommend don't share those letters. And you can tell a buyer's agent why you're not going to share those, if that's your office policy or your personal file. Uh, philosophy. When you represent a buyer, it's not as controversial. So that's what I mean by love letters. So with that being said, you're always looking to present a better offer when you represent a buyer, cleaner terms. So in past videos and in future videos, we'll talk about different ways to get your, your offer chosen versus the competition. If you have topics that I haven't covered or you'd like additional information on, please shoot me an email, leave us a note. But again, please leave us a like, leave us a review. We can't get enough of those. That's how through Google and YouTube, people are finding out about us through re reviews that you leave. So I greatly would appreciate that. My name is Michael Lafito. Keep raising the bar. And we hope to see you on one of our Luxury Fridays. Again, join LuxGroup.com. Join LuxGroup.com. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.